Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. Learn fire protection design by subscribing to my channel. So today we are diving into the classifications or classes of fire depending upon the fuel type. And also we are going to understand the fire rating classification with an example. So as you can see on your screen, there are various classes of fire. Class A type, Class B type, Class C type, Class D type and Class E type. These fire classifications are in accordance with the guidelines mentioned in NFPA 10. I will explain you about all these classes in future slides. So Class A fires. Class A fires are flammable solids or fires in ordinary combustible materials such as wood, paper, cloth, trash, plastics, rubber, etc. It means whenever you find the fuel in these forms, then it means we need to use class A fire extinguisher in order to extinguish the fire. Class B fires are fires in flammable and combustible liquids, flammable gases. For example, petrol, diesel, paints, oil-based paints, petroleum greases, solvents, alcohols, tars, oils, everything comes under Class B fires. Class C fires are fires that involve energized electrical equipment as long as it is plugged in. So examples are shown computers, electronic equipment, wiring, etc. Class D fires are fires in combustible metals such as potassium, sodium, aluminium, zinc, copper, magnesium, titanium, zirconium and also lithium to name a few. Class K fires are fires in cooking appliances that involve combustible cooking media such as vegetable oils, animal oils and fats. In next slide we are going to understand the rating and classification with an example. So before we move ahead we shall discuss the key points of extinguisher classification systems. So just have a look on your screen. The classification of fire extinguishers shall use letters to indicate the type of fire they are effective against. I will explain you in detail with an example in next slide. Class A or Class B shall be required to have a rating number preceding the classification letter. Class C, D or K shall not be required to have a number preceding the classification letter. So these are the three key points which you need to remember whenever we define the extinguisher classification. For example, you have a fire extinguisher with a rating of 4A 20B C. It means first thing comes into our mind based on our earlier slides this extinguisher can be used for class A, class B and class C fires. This is the first point. Apart from that, we can impart some other information as well based on this classification rating. So now if you look on your screen, I have mentioned like 4A means this extinguisher can extinguish approximately twice as much class A fire as a 2A rated fire extinguisher. 20B represents that this extinguisher approximately extinguished 20 times as much class B fire as a 1B rated fire extinguisher. Class C don't have any number so it is suitable for use on energized electrical equipments. In next class, we shall discuss various types of fire extinguishers available in the market. 
Thank you for watching my videos. If you learn something new, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the subscription button in order to learn more about fire protection design.